Hey, this is Dr. Conover, and I thought instead of writing out a blog post this morning, I would talk to you on this video. Uh, and the main reason I wanted to do that is because the topic I'm talking about is a little bit complicated and may get lost with my written words. What I wanted to talk to you about was our immune system and cytokines and how balancing our immune system and balancing these cytokines is really important and how moving forward we're going to see many, many disease processes affected by our cytokine balance. Um, it's estimated that about 70 to 80 percent of our immune system lives within our colon. And so this is interesting because that means our immune system develops when we are very, very young, infants, right after we were born. And the things we are exposed to, germs, bacteria, viruses, chemicals, you name it, very early in life can help shape what happens later on in life. And this is one of the reasons why we think more people are developing chronic diseases now. Because we tend to live in more of a sterile environment and we are exposed to less and less with all of our filters and less playing in the dirt and less living outside. So we don't get exposed to the same type of germs and pathogens and so our immune system does not develop the tolerance that we think it should have. And so with our immune system we have these two really important types of cytokines. And cytokines are really just chemical messengers of our immune system. So there's the Th1 cytokines, which tend to be pro-inflammatory, and the Th2 cytokines, which tend to be anti-inflammatory. And what we know now is that many, many autoimmune diseases, such as MS, type 1 diabetes, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, tend to be Th1 dominant. They're pro-inflammatory. Whereas Th2 dominant diseases are things such as asthma and allergies. And so you don't want to have an imbalance. You don't want to tip the scale to the Th1 side because then that puts you more at risk for an autoimmune, autoimmune pro-inflammatory type of disease. And you don't want to tip the scale towards the Th2 side which puts you more at risk for asthma and allergies um, and things like that. And we're also finding now that, th that diseases such as heart disease, depression, diabetes, they have uh, certain characteristics of this Th1 slash Th2 um, balance. And the way our immune system works is by providing balance. There's another set of immune cells called our T regulatory cells. And what happens when you don't get exposed to a lot of bad stuff, if you will, when you're young, um, you don't develop tolerance and therefore you don't develop a good T regulatory side of your cytokine family. Without that T regulatory cell, the Th1 or Th2 can become dominant. And when this happens, we think that may be the initiator of these types of illnesses. And so when we look for the root cause and we're trying to find ways, especially natural ways, to help people feel better, one of the things we can turn back to is the cytokine balance. And the cool part is that taking probiotics as a supplement and prebiotics, and prebiotics include things such as beta-glucan, FOS, inulin, um, taking both of these really seems to help balance the Th1 and Th2 cytokines. And so in effect, you can regain that tolerance that may have been missing. Now I'm making this overly simple because this is a complicated subject, but the point is I just want this to become part of your vocabulary. Th1 cytokines are pro-inflammatory, Th2 cytokines are anti-inflammatory, and we need to get better tolerance, which means more T regulatory cells. So the bottom line is no matter what type of illness, autoimmune disease, asthma, allergies, heart disease, depression, really we're talking about all chronic illness, is affected by this balance of the cytokines. And the more we learn about this, the more exciting it will be because the more of an effect we will be able to have and more of a natural effect, especially by adding probiotics and prebiotics. So that's just a brief introduction. Um, it gets more complicated and I'll talk more about it. But for now, um, know that this is an exciting time when it comes to our immune system and there's a lot, a lot um, that's out there, especially natural things. So probiotics and prebiotics do much, much more than just help your colon work well. Okay, talk to you later.